Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop out here in the heavenly backyard garden and it's the end of April, the beginning of May and the nights are getting shorter and the days are getting longer. That's good news for the garden out here for the daylight, bad news for astral photography, particularly to all my friends north of my latitude. I'm at 32 degrees north latitude. The farther north you are, the less night you're getting and the more day you're light you're getting but the less nighttime you're getting so you better make use of the dark skies you have right now because that is fading quickly as a matter of fact we're at a cross quarter day on May 1st that's the midway point between the first day of spring and the first day of summer in the northern hemisphere of course as a matter of fact there are four cross quarter days uh, throughout the year the other one is early August I think it's August 3rd that's the, the Lamas uh, uh, or the uh, loaf day and then there's the famous one, Halloween, which is October 31st. That's a cross-quarter day. That's the uh, midway point between the first day of autumn and the first day of winter. And then you have Groundhog Day, February 2nd. That's a cross-quarter day, the, first, uh, the uh, uh, halfway between the first day of winter and the first day of spring. But here we are at May Day coming up. And up in the sky right now, we still have lots of galaxies to look at because we're looking away from the center of the galaxy out to the outer edges of the galaxy, out into infinite uh, space, it seems like. Uh, the uh, distant galaxies are showing up, so we call this the galaxy season. And <laughs> there are so many galaxies out there. I wanna show you what you can see in your own backyard. It's amazing, uh, and it's, matter, it's almost poof, mind-boggling as what you can see with just a small telescope. Now, I'm going to be using two telescopes to show you a cluster of galaxies and a chain of galaxies. So with that being said, welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Now, the telescopes that I use, I have them under cover right now because there are some rain showers coming in from the west, and I don't want the scopes to get wet. Anyway, this one over here by the umbrella, that's the Orion Eon 130mm triplet refractor, and it has a focal length of 900 and 10 millimeters, a 130 millimeter uh, objective lens. And the other scope is its little sister over there on the cover, and that's the Orion ED80, of course an 80 millimeter uh, objective with a focal length of 480 millimeters. However, I have the 0.8x reducer on that, and also, I use the Topek camera, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Sky Eye Camera 24, the Sky Eye 24 camera, which has a super large pixel. I think the pixel size um, is uh, 5.94 microns per pixel. Anyway, that gives you a super wide field of view along with the reducer. So, you know, I got some amazing wide shot views uh, of, the, of the galaxies and well, you know, the galaxies are just fascinating to look at, so let me shut up. Let's go upstairs and look at these galaxies. I mean, I tell you, it's amazing what you can see in your own backyard. Oh, these things are amazing. All right, let's begin by showing the uh, images from the ED80 with the 0.8x reducer and the Topek camera with the super large pixel size and with a super wide field of view. And this is using the Pro Filter. This is a color camera. So this is with the Pro Filter. This is about uh, two and a half hours right here. And then this is the Quad Filter. Uh, not much of a difference right there as you can see and then the uh, combination of the uh, two I added together and darkened up a little bit and there you can see the chain of galaxies this is the Markarian change now this was first discovered back in 1781 by Charles Messier and then William Herschel later on uh, uh, discovered more of these galaxies uh, in the chain itself and it wasn't until um, the 1960s where American astrophysicist Benjamin Markarian uh, discovered the proper motion of all these galaxies, so hence the name, the Markarian Chain of Galaxies. And there you can see them right there. But since this is a super wide field of view, uh, it also shows other galaxies, as you can see, floating around. Uh, this one over here particularly, that's M87. That is a mega galaxy with over a trillion stars and a super massive black hole. Uh, these two galaxies here are uh, M87 
84 and M86. That's th those are the ones that the um, uh, Charles Messier discovered first back in the 1700s. Let's take a look at uh, another view of this uh, process through Photoshop. And there you can see the galaxies once again. And uh, take out the stars and just look at the galaxies. There you can see galaxies. And the average galaxy here, uh, the brighter ones, are about 50, 55 million light years away. Some of these smaller ones are much further away. Uh, for example, you can see them down here much further away. Look at that, a spiral, a, a, a spiral galaxy uh, over here. Uh, there, there's all over the place in this image here. And here's the annotated view, uh, sh uh, annotating some of the closer uh, galaxies. And as you can see, there's M86, uh, the eyes. That's always a fas uh, fascinating one to look at. I'm gonna take a little bit better look at this with the, uh, uh, the Orion Eon telescope. Uh, and over here you have M84. And again, they're just all over the place, uh, these galaxies, and some of them are not even labeled, as you can see. Well, some of them are. A lot of the little ones are even labeled you know, NGC 4436 and so forth and so on. So yeah, there's a lot of galaxies out there. So let's take a look at the uh, view from the Orion ED80 telescope. Well, that is the ED80 telescope. Let's look at the uh, Orion Eon uh, 130 millimeter. and. I took this using the um, Player One Poseidon camera. It is a monochrome camera, and it has a pixel size of 3.76, I believe. So it's a little bit tighter field of view, but here's the Markarian chain here uh, in the red light. Here it is in the green light uh, and the blue light and a luminance uh, filter here um, showing the galaxies. Again, uh, there are the eyes right there. And let's look at these after I processed them through Photoshop. And there you can see the actual um, processed image with the stars and the, you can see in the galaxies here, the eyes, uh, <laughs> it's amazing uh, images right over here. And look, way out there, there's another galaxy, way, way, way out there. Okay, let's take a look at the um, galaxies without the stars and there you can see the galaxies uh, more pronounced. And again, uh, these galaxies over here are just so far, far away. These have to be over 100 million light years away where the average galaxy here is about uh, uh, 50 to 55 million light years away. This might be over 150 million uh, light years away. And again, I have the annotated uh, version here uh, showing the um, uh, different galaxies, the, the eyes as they call it for this one over here. Uh, and um, it, it's just amazing what you can see out there uh, from your own backyard. Okay, that's the Markarian chain of galaxies. Let's, uh, let's bring this back down and let's look at this other cluster of galaxies. This is known as Abel 2151 or the Great Hercules cluster of galaxies. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, here's the, again, I took this with the uh, uh, Orion Eon 130 millimeter uh, with the um, Player One camera. And uh, here we have the master light. It, it doesn't look like much right here, but there, there is a cluster of galaxies. That's the Hercules cluster right there. Uh, there's another cluster over here. Uh, this is the green light and this is the uh, blue light here. And uh, let's take a look at the process final images here. There you have it right there. Let's zoom in on that. And look at all these galaxies. Now, the average distance on these galaxies, taken from my own backyard with the Orion Eon telescope, is about 500 million light years away, half a trillion light years away, uh, a billion, excuse me, half a billion light years away. Um, 500 million light years away. You can see these far distant galaxies all over the place in this cluster over here. So if you, yeah, if you want to take a really interesting picture, you know, point it toward the great Hercules cluster. Uh, you got galaxies all over the sky out there. Let's take a look at this without the stars. You can get a better idea where the galaxies are and they're all over the place uh, shining uh, in this image here. And there you can see them uh, forming chains and, and clusters and uh, this one over here is just uh, mind-boggling to me. You, know, I, you remember on the average about what? Uh, average galaxies about 250 billion stars. 
And some of these galaxies have a trillion stars. I mean, this is a huge galaxy here. This might be a little bit closer. That galaxy over there must be much further away. There's one has to be way out there, 500 million or more light years away. And here's the annotated value uh, version of it. And again, you can see um, uh, just so, so many different galaxies out there. So it's very interesting uh, what you can see in your own backyard. So yeah. I gotta tell you, the first time I looked at Abel 2151, it just blew my mind seeing all those galaxies out there, and, and, and many of them are 500 million light years away. In other words, that's what we were seeing, what they look like 500 million years ago. I wasn't even born yet. Shortly after that, but yeah, anyway, and then the Markarian's chain of galaxies. Uh, that's always a fascinating uh, target. My friend uh, Simon from Simon's Astro just did a, his video on the Markarian chain. And uh, as a matter of fact, I got a link to it right over here. Uh, it, take a look at it. It's really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, you know, if you would like to support my channel, please, you know, uh, go ahead. You don't have to, but if you'd like, uh, there's n several different ways you can help support my channel. Number one, hit the like button. That's always good. Leave a comment. That's always good as well. And also uh, share the video if you can share it with your friends. And also if you would like to uh, financially help the, uh, the uh, channel, you could buy me a cup of coffee. I love my coffee. It's only two dollars a cup, a bargain at any man's price or woman's price anyway, any person's price. And uh, or you could subscribe to my my channel or to my Patreon page. So all those help me uh, with the astronomy, uh, with this astronomy channel. Also, uh, the Heavenly Backyard Garden, uh, it is, is exploding as well right now with, with color. And it will be uh, in the next two to three weeks, uh, literally exploding with color as the lilies are just beginning to bloom right now. And the dahlias are coming up. Uh, they'll be putting on a show all summer long. I have another channel, my Weather and Nature channel. I have some videos up there as well. If you'd like to see more about the Heavenly Backyard Garden, I have uh, videos there. There's a matter of fact, there's one right there. Uh, you could tune to if you want. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I got more coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. Also, as we go out of May in toward June, uh, in the early morning skies, we are beginning to see the other side of the galaxy. We're looking back toward the Sagittarius arm of our galaxy, and within that area, there's a lot of nebulosity to look at. Not much nebulosity during March, April, and May, uh, in the uh, nighttime skies, but in the early morning sky, when you start looking into the uh, Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way, uh, there you can see, well, for example, the, the Lagoon Nebula. And I'm experimenting with that. And I, my next video is going to be about the Lagoon Nebula and how I captured it with the two different setups as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the views from the garden right here and also enjoy the views and contemplate the, the, the vastness of the galaxies, it, not only the number of stars in a galaxy, the average galaxy has what, about 250 billion stars? And look at all those galaxies out there, it's amazing. Wow, here we are on planet Earth. We're not alone. What do you think? Leave your comments. Thanks for watching and see you later. Thank you.